Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So now once again, we are going to do an awesomely lead code popular. I can't speak. So let's get started with the question. So the lead code problem we are going to solve today is called find the duplicate number. We can see that this one is a medium problem and also extremely well like problem on lead code. The problem statement is quite simple. We are given an array of integer called nums that contains n plus one integers where each integer is in the range of 1 to n. Now we are told that there is only one repeated number in this nums array that we are given as the input. So we need to find that what is that repeated number. On top of it to make things more compelling, we are given two conditions that we must solve the problem without modifying the existing array. So that is option number one. And second one is we must solve this using an constant extra space. So we don't want to use any other data structure. So let's try to understand if this is the input we are given. Currently this input contains seven element and we can see that in this case we are given values one up, up until six, but the values, there is one value that is being repeated and the repeated value right here, we can clearly see is value number four. So in this case, we need to return four as the answer that four is the repeated character that we have been able to find. So really simple problem statement. Now let's quickly try to understand the brute force approach and then we will build our solution on top of that. So the brute force approach is actually very simple to understand. We can just simply create a new hash set and inside this new hash set, we will first check that whether at the entry we are trying to iterating over, if that is already present inside the hash set, if that is the present, that has to be the repeated element. If that is not the present, we can move on to the next element. So first we find value number six, it's not present. So we add it to six. Then we find value number three. Once again, we find value number one. Once again, we find value number four and value number two. So, so far, none of these values were present inside the hash set. So we added them next. We identified value number four. So four four is already present inside the hash set and we can check that in big of one time which means because this is already present so in this case we can say for sure that four is the repeated element so this solution works well in big of n time which is great but the issue is we are actually using an additional data structure to store the value of this existing array so this is this is basically not allowed. So over here space complexity is going to be big of n so this is not a good solution. Let's try to see a better solution where we can actually make changes to the existing array that we are already given. Once I know that we are not supposed to do that, but this is one of the way where we can find the solution very easily. The idea is that at any single index position, we try to go to its subsequent uh, index value and keep on repeating the same process. So eventually it should be able to lead us to the repeated person. So in this case, we can see that if we go to element number six, um, on the position number six, we actually have value number five located, which means we are going to swap the values. So the value we are going to swap over here is that five would come on this place and six would come on this place. So in this case, we would have on position number zero element number five located and so on and so forth. So we would keep on swapping the elements. So now this one will become six even eventually this one will become four and this one will become uh, four as well. So eventually we would be left with element four hanging someplace. So the moment we identify that we can say for sure that four is the repeated character. Now the problem with this approach is that in terms of swapping the elements, we can actually complete this pro problem in big of one space complexity, but we would be actually modifying the input array. So this is also not a legitimate solution. I mean, the solution is legitimate. The other thing is if you can find this solution in any of your interviews, the interviewer would be more than likely to be happy with this uh, this approach but the thing is now we are we are trying to find the most optimal solution without modifying the array for that we are actually going to take use of a very popular technique that we have seen in a linked list so in any particular linked list whenever we had repeated characters we actually were able to solve that whether we have a cycle inside the linked list or not by checking a very popular algorithm and that algorithm is uh, called a tortoise and hare algorithm where we simply take use of two pointers one is a fast pointer and the other one is a slow pointer and we iterate fast and slow pointer over the linked list 
until the fast pointer either reaches to the null value or we identify that fast pointer and slow pointer meet at some position. So let me quickly go over the solution uh, and then we will understand that how can we utilize that fact for our approach. So the idea is that let's say that currently I have I am given one particular link list right and the values are quite straightforward. The thing is I realize that in this particular link list this value number four once again points back to value number two. So which means in this case I can actually point value number four back to value number two. So in a sense I can say that value number two is actually present twice or it is the repeated element. Now I need to identify that whether there is a repeated element or not. The idea in for uh, a typical link list is that you start with a fast pointer and slow pointer both at the so same location fast pointer is going to do two jumps at a time meanwhile slow pointer is only going to do one jump at a time so during the first iteration fast pointer is going to end up over here during the second iteration slow pointer is going to end up over here okay now we are going to keep on repeating the same process so during the next iteration fast pointer is going to go to four and once again go back to two so fast pointer is going to end up over here but meanwhile at the same time slow pointer is also going to make a jump so slow pointer will end up with one jump over here during the next iteration fast pointer would end up over here and at the same time slow pointer would also end up at the same position so the moment we realize that fast both fast and slow pointer are at the same position which means we can say for sure that there is a cycle inside this given link list so now the thing is this only confirms that there exists a cycle inside the link list but we don't know for sure that what is the repeated element. So repeated element in this case is value number two. But the thing is there is a very easy way to find that repeated element as well where we identify that fast and slow pointer met at this particular position right uh, at uh, value number four. So the thing is what we are actually going to do is that instead now currently fast pointer is just going to stay inside the loop but we will need to have slow pointer to come outside the loop somehow. So let's say that our slow pointer comes outside of the loop. It is right now over here and fast pointer is now inside the loop. Now we are going to have fast pointer just hop one element and slow pointer also hop one element. If we do that, actually the funny thing is that mathematically the fast pointer and slow pointer both would end up exactly where the repeated character lies or exactly where we are able to identify the cycle and we can see it over here and we are going to see it in a couple of other examples so you can understand that my hypothesis in this scenario is correct so now currently uh, we are only going to do one jumps because we have already identified the the element now in this case okay currently this f is located over here the slow pointer is located over here if slow pointer makes one jump slow pointer reaches over here if fast pointer makes one jump fast pointer is going to end up over here and this has to be the repeated character because we identify both a slow and fast pointer ending up at the same place so and now trust me this solution works we will try to understand this with couple of examples but first let's understand that this solution was actually really good and simple that it worked for a link list in the input we are actually given an array so how do we deal with this one the idea is actually quite simple uh, and what i'm suggesting is that instead of treating this whole array as set of an array we are actually going to make use of the idea of our second example where rather than swapping the values we will just try to create the links and how we are going to create the links based on so currently let's say that in this index number zero this is the zeroth value so we are going to treat it as node zero and this has value number six so we are going to assume that zero points to node number six then six has node number value five so six points to node number five and this using this logic we will try to visualize this as a linkless type of variable okay so let me just show you what i mean and then it would make much more sense so let's assume that okay currently we are at zeroth index so currently our zero index now it is pointing to index number six okay index number six now in this case is pointing to index number five five is once again pointing to four four is once again pointing to value number two two is pointing to value number one and one is once again pointing to value number three and once again three is pointing back to value number four so rather than doing this we can just say that three is pointing back to the value number four 
and in this case we know for a fact that 4 is the repeated character because this is where the the cycle starts so now let's just start running our algorithm we are going to have our slow pointer and fast pointer both start at the same position slow pointer is going to make one jump meanwhile fast pointer is going to make two jumps once again repeatedly same thing is going to happen that fast pointer is going to make two jumps and slow pointer is going to make one jump so let's also quickly do that so now currently we have our slow pointer over here our fast pointer over here once again fast pointer makes two jumps so fast pointer ends up over here slow pointer ends up over here okay uh, once again fast pointer is going to make two jumps so now fast pointer is going to cross inside the loop so fast pointer would be one this is would be the first jump and this would be the second jump so fast pointer is going to end up over here same way after making one jump slow pointer is also going to end up over here which means we identified the place that both fast and slow pointer met okay now because fast and slow pointer both met at this place we know for sure that both fast and slow pointer are currently inside the loop we will have to find a way to break for value number or slow pointer outside the loop so we are actually going to start slow pointer at the beginning of the loop and now we are simply going to do one jump just like we saw inside the linked list example so slow pointer will take one jump fast pointer will take one jump once again slow pointer will take one jump and fast pointer will take one jump and once again when slow pointer takes one jump fast pointer will also end up at the same position and this index position has to be the repeated character and we found the culprit that we were looking for so this is the whole approach to solve this problem if you want you can take as many examples as you want this distance and where the place where both fast and slow pointer meets up uh, distance from there to the starting pointer is always going to remain same and this is going to allow us to find the du duplicated item without using constant without using extra space or without modifying the existing array so this is a pretty good equation to open up your mind and uh, open the horizons of what can be different possibilities how can you start understanding that what type of uh, solutions can be there so that's why this is pretty popular among top tier companies so if we see time complexity it's pretty obvious it's going to be big o of n because we are simply going to iterate over the given array like a couple of times one to find the uh, matching point and second one to find the the uh, duplicate number okay and space complexity we know that this is going to be big o of one and uh, now let's quickly see the coding solution for this one So the coding solution is actually quite simple and straightforward. Uh, we are going to have our two variables, fast pointer and slow pointer initialize at the very first element. Then we are going to find the intersection between two points. So we are going to run our while loop that while slow is not equal to fast. And then we are going to have slow pointer make one jump. Meanwhile, fast pointer is going to make two jumps. Once that is done and we do find the intersection, now fast pointer is inside the cycle. So slow pointer, we are going to kick it out of the cycle by marking it initial position as zero. And then we are simply going to check that while slow and fast are not the same, we are going to a slow pointer iterate one step and fast pointer also iterate one step. In the end, we can simply return either slow or fast because both are at the same position. So we will try to run this code. Okay, seems like our solution is working. Let's submit this code. And our code runs extremely fast compared to a lot of other solutions. And it's especially difficult for a popular question like this. So yeah, you can imagine once again, the coding solution is going to be present inside our GitHub repository. So feel free to check it out from there. Thank you.